from Fun and Crazy Kids, and today we're doing something a little bit different from our usual videos. Today we're cleaning out Oliver's disgusting kid. Ew, look at that wheel. Yeah, his wheels get really dirty. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the cage top. Oh. So Aubrey's cleaning day are Saturdays, and so almost every Saturday, yes. she, if not earlier, she cleans out Oliver's cage. Yeah, but since family was over because we had like a birthday party, I didn't have enough time to clean it on Saturday. I wish I did. The, today is Tuesday because I've had family over since they just left Tuesday so, today. So, so that's why it's super dirty. It's because I didn't have enough time to clean it, but I'm... I'm cleaning it now, so that's all that matters. All right, so where is Oliver? So th this is like little like, um, I don't know what it's called. It's like fuzz, it's like yeah, a but special kind of. Uh, his shavings got all over yeah. it. So. He's hiding in there somewhere. Oh, I heard him. Ah, there he is. He spikes up. All right, okay. listen. First wake him up. Okay, be real quiet and you can hear him. He's nice he's, after he wakes he's up. He's peeking out. There he is, hi Oliver. Say hi to the fun fans. He likes to sometimes bury himself with the, he likes to dig. That's why there's no shavings over here. Because look, he digs and then all gets pushed over here. Yeah, because he likes that fuzzy stuff. Yeah, hi Oliver. He's gonna jump, so. Something on there. Come here. Oh, he's being good. He's gonna try to jump at me, I know. That's what he does, but I'm used to it. Oh, he's so he's, Oh yeah, he likes to fall asleep in my hands too. There you go, got him out. Now he's gonna be super Yay. nice. Let me get this off his nose. So he is a bit dirty, so today is also his uh, bath time, so I just put him in water and just scrub him with a toothbrush. Not scrub him, because you're not supposed to scrub him, gently. Gently wipe yeah. the... Hi, Oliver. Hi, so the Fun Pants helped Aubrey name this little cutie Oliver. So sweet. I love the name Oliver. <laughs> oh, he's so All right, cute. so where do you put him when you clean his cage out? So I put him, oh, he's trying to fall asleep on my hand. He's so tired. So if you guys didn't know it, hedgehogs are nocturnal animals. Yeah, but so I they... put him in like, he sleeps in like the day, but he also sleeps at night. He only gets up a little bit to get a drink of water and food and then he sleeps. <laughs> That's how he is. So, All right, so this is what Aubrey puts him in when she cleans his cage. There is no shavings because he does get this dirty when I put him in here. So after, so I, I have to clean this if he gets it dirty because he always gets it dirty when he put, gets put in here. So don't worry, there's holes on the side so he can breathe. <laughs> don't worry about that. So don't worry if he has no shavings. It's because he gets it dirty. It'll just be a waste of shavings and they're expensive, so. So on the other videos, Every time I'd get near him, he would always quill me. But look, he's so used to my scent now that I can just rub around on his quills like that. And he's not, he doesn't even care. He's very chill about it. Yeah, that's also awesome. him scratching himself. So if you hear that all the time, it's him. Look at this. In there, trying to find a way out. So it is super important Ooh, with a hedgehog that you socialize him. Yes. So Aubrey does get him out and plays with every him every single every day. day. Here's a hedgehog. And sometimes he gets really mad at me because he's super tired and then he falls asleep and then I watch a movie upstairs and then I hold him in my hands and he just sleeps while I watch a movie. It's <laughs> but it's super important. So yeah. he has gotten used to Aubrey since she's had him because she yes. plays with him. So, okay, what do you do first? Uh, so I need to take all this stuff out. I don't know if I should like <laughs> throw this away. This is disgusting, Aubrey. I think I should throw this away because it's gotten really gross. <laughs> Yeah, we've got, we'll just throw all the shavings away and get some more of that. Yeah, we'll This is disgusting. Why does his will look like a poop, my will? Okay, so every single night, it looks like that wheel has been in there for a week. I'm not joking. Well, Aubrey does clean the wheel out more than once a week. I have but, to clean it out every single day. But I Oliver thinks when he gets in the wheel, he needs to coat it in poop, so. Yeah, pretty. Ew! He's so cute, though. <laughs> So I gotta dump everything out into it because I feel all new stuff. So I gotta clean this out because of course you pooped it there. Okay, I have to take this out, but it's disgusting. Sometimes I have to scrub it and it's good. So now what I do is I just dump it all in there. This is the reality of having a pet, but they're still so adorable. Gross. You can't be mad at them. That's why parents never let you get a pet because they, because look, most likely, Ew. nobody wants to do it. 
But you do clean, you do take really good care yes, of him. And I do. He doesn't, his cage never stinks and. Yeah. But he's a lot of work. A lot of work. That is a lot of goofy shavings. It's still on me. I have shavings all over my room because it gets everywhere. Now I'm outside to clean the cage and I've, I have to use. So this, this is dishwashing soap and look how big this is. This used to be at the full top. I've only used this two times. So yeah, that just shows you how much soap I need to use. And then also we have to use this because we have to wipe it off before. This is the reality of having a pet. Ew. Yeah. Gross. Yeah, it is gross. Here, can you hand me those paper towels? Is it worth it? Yeah. For me at least. I do this all by myself. My mom does not go near any of this. That's right. Ew. So this is just a little what it looks like before, after I'm done cleaning all of this cage. It gets really messy outside. And also, this is a bag full of napkins and paper towels that I've cleaned, as you can see, cleaned his things with. So now I'm gonna go wash my hands and let's fix his little cage for him. His fur is like all messy. I So this is what it looks like after I'm done cleaning. Obviously a giant difference. So now Oliver's house is clean, so he needs to get clean now, so. Yeah. His fur is all messy because he was sleeping in a little ball, as you saw a while ago. So now we're gonna, I'm gonna touch him and let him know that I'm gonna. Yep, he's fine. All right, I'm gonna put you back, Oliver, and then we're gonna, and then you're gonna take a bath. So now I'm, I gotta set it to like lukewarm. It's like, like temperature air, but like, I don't know how to, it's warm, but not cold or hot. It's the perfect temperature. So he just went back to sleep, but I'm gonna have to wake him up because he has to take a bath, because he's super dirty. Come here, buddy. No, he's okay. Don't let me get him. It's all right. He's a little grumpy because I keep on waking him up. I would be grumpy too. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna put him in there. And don't worry, it's the right temperature. So over here, it's a little shallower. And if you want, he does that when he gets water on his nose. He just starts sneezing. Oh. So cute, he's fine, don't worry. Will he swim? Yeah, uh, over there, if he wants to swim, they usually- It's deeper over here. Yeah, so there's like a, I didn't want him to just have to swim. So if he wants to swim, he can go over there. And it's a little warmer over there too. So I have an, an old toothbrush that I use for him. So I just get some water on there and then I just rub his quills. Gonna have to get his feet because his feet are gross. But. Have you seen him swim before? Mm, I don't think so. I try not to, because I saw that hedgehogs don't like to swim. And also who would just like to swim and not like the rest? He usually tries to. So if he like flops down, it's because he's crawling on this. That's what he always does. I think he likes this. He always tries to walk away from me when I try to. I gently rub, I gently like get his toes because his toes are usually the grossest because you saw the wheel and he goes on the wheel every single night. Trust me, it's super loud. So he's gonna finish his bath and we'll be back. So he's drying right now in the towel because he has to be completely dry before he gets back in his cage. That's what I've read. So he's just crawling around in his towel. I think I'm just gonna put it on the floor so he can just walk around. Since Oliver did so good taking a bath, he gets his favorite snack. He gets a mealworm. These are super small, so I'm gonna feed him a couple. They're usually like, Pretty good size for Oliver, but they were small this time. So we're just gonna have to feed him a couple. He doesn't mind, see? Disgustingness. These things are gross. And this is oat. They're supposed to make them bigger, but they obviously did not. <laughs> All right, you guys ready to see Oliver? He's gonna eat it off my hand because I trust him that much. So I have three uh, mealworms to feed him, and he's right here. He's so sweet. Look! Eat it. <laughs> you 
he sometimes um, nibbles on my fingers, so. <laughs> He's eating all the excess oats. I'm gonna give him one more just for being a little cutie. Here you go. <laughs> that was so cute, he's so sweet. You ready to go back in your cage, buddy? All right, so now we're gonna put him back in his cage so he can go back to sleep and we're gonna feed him. So come here, buddy. I love him, he's the best little thing in the whole wild world. If you're thinking about getting a hedgehog, make sure to hold it before and make sure that his quills, because sometimes you can get an allergic reaction from his quills, and also they might be mean hedgehogs, so make sure they're nice. They might quill at you at first because they don't recognize you, but make sure they're not mean. Like, make sure they're just scared. Like, make sure they're scared instead of being mean. See him? He's, he likes to push this around. He gets inside. He's probably looking for his stuff that had to be thrown away. I'll get you new. I got some money. I got, I'll got. i get you new, I promise. Oh, I guess Oliver wants a... Uh... He usually never gets on the wheel with me. He always gets off when I'm here. You like your wheel, buddy? You like how clean it is? Probably like, whoa, this is so clean. You're getting a little bit of exercise in. Woo! No. Oh, okay. He's like, no. So I've got his blue bowl here, and I feed him this hedgehog diet. If you haven't seen the other video, I feed him hedgehog diet and hedgehog food. And then high protein cat food, which is this. And he loves it. So it looks like he's hungry for some food. Oh. He just shoved his face in there. He's so cute. Oh, wake him, wake him. So I feed him half of the hedgehog diet, hedgehog food, and then half of the high protein cat food with no corn. So. Oh my goodness. All right, so that is Oliver's daytime routine on Sunday. So that's what I do. So if you guys want to see more Oliver videos, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the bell. Until next time, peace out.